Davis, your host of the Untold Miracles podcast. And today I am so excited for this very special Untold Miracles podcast episode with the one and only amazing, beautiful, kind actress, mother, friend, philanthropist. It's Jennifer Garner. And we got to do a special hospital visit with Children's Hospital and Medical Center in Omaha. And patients, Aubrey, Jason, Caitlin, were able to ask her some questions. I was able to ask her about the biggest miracle in her life, why it's so important to her to give back to children's hospitals and health kids, and so much more. So I hope you enjoy this episode. And I just want to say, Jennifer Garner, you are the best. Thank you so much for all you do to help kids. We appreciate you and enjoy the episode. Hey, how are you? Hi. How are you, Kelly? I'm Thank great. You. Sorry I'm late. I just... I am in quarantine, but I've packed my days so full that I didn't leave room for food or peeing or shower. And so I'm always late. I'm always like, ah. Well, it's so good to have you. And I'm excited to introduce you to Aubrey and her dad, Josh. And they're really excited to meet you. Hi, Aubrey. Hi, Josh. Hi. How are you? Hello. Hello. Did you have questions for me? Uh, yeah. Okay. Do you have any pets? I'm embarrassed to tell you how many pets I have. <laughs> I think you're going to think I'm um, But I have three kids. Do they count as pets? <laughs> no. No? Okay. Um, I, I have, we have two dogs, and they're named after other animals. Well, all, a lot of our animals are named after other. We have Birdie and Kitty, and then our cat... <laughs> is named moose and then we have fish because i really like fish so for my birthday my kids gave me a tropical fish tank which really means that i bought it but i was glad they did because now we have fish and in there they, we have shrimp and we have snails and a hermit crab and so that's in coral lots of corals so that's kind of cool and i have chickens i think there are nine chickens oh wow yeah if you got to make a movie, what would it be about? Um, okay, so I am, I've been developing a movie for a little while. And who knows, with, when you're developing a script or a movie, you never know if it's going to go anywhere. It, they often just like, I mean, most of the time, they're just like, remember when we worked on that? <laughs> but this one is super cool. It's about a unicorn who desperately believes in little girls. And the unicorn is like, I know little girls exist. I know they exist. I know they exist. And I'm his friend, the sidekick fairy, who's just like cynical and I'm a rock fairy and I hate my job and everyone in fairyland does incredible things. There's like the tooth fairy, the rainbow fairy, the leprechauns, whatever. And then I'm like, I just deal with rocks and I have my wand. And I get so annoyed and we accidentally ent enter the human world and we go on a hunt for a little girl and every like we go to an American girl store, but everywhere we look, the little girls have just passed us. So there we are where there are more little girls per square inch than anywhere else in the world. And we can't even find one. So it's and it's a musical and it's just it's just silly and fun. Mm -hmm. So that is the movie that I think I would have the most fun making. Would you watch it if I made it? Yeah. Do you think I could play a grumpy fairy? No, I think you're too nice to play a grumpy fairy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing to my heart? Oh my goodness. All right, I'll have to work on my grumpy face. <laughs> <sighs> Do you have another question? Oh, I've got lots more. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tell, I can see you're, you're thinking. All right. This is what a good interviewer does, you know. Can I tell you something, Aubrey, is that when we're selling movies and we go on something called junkets, which is where the actor sits in one room and a different interviewer comes in every, every five minutes and they have five minutes to ask you their questions. And they ask a lot of the same questions so the actor feels kind of loopy by the end of the day. But so many of those interviewers are kids who had something medical happen to them when they were young. And they just, because they were in hospitals or at home recovering, they ended up watching movie after movie after movie. 
And they really became like, it matters what you love. And they turned it into a career. And now, cause I made a movie called Miracles from Heaven. And it was about a little girl who spent a lot of time in a hospital. And as, as I went through all these people who had interviewed me for, you know, 20 years, as they were coming through, they were saying, I was a little kid in a hospital over and over and over again. And it just, just made me feel like, wow, that's so nice to think that, you know, there's, who knows? You just, you don't know what beautiful thing can come out of something hard. That's all. Okay, what's your next question? I'm ready. But they all come in ready with their questions and I screw them up by talking too much. Go ahead. <laughs> what do you like to cook? What do I like to cook? I like to make pizza because I like to eat pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and I like to, I make my kids on Sundays chicken breasts with crispy skin. And then um, I do really crispy potatoes and I like to make ice cream and I like to make cookies, all things that are not the healthiest, but I love a good salad. <laughs> what is a highlight in your career and what was a hard point in your career? A highlight is I made a show that you're a little young for, but it was called Alias a long time ago and I played a spy and I got to do lots of cool stunts and wear wigs and have different languages and it was really super hard and really fun to make but the highlight is that it's something that people something people tell me and especially women is that it helped them when they were going through something hard because it made them feel strong and it made them feel like i can do it i can do it i can do it and sometimes you just need that feeling in your brain and in your heart and then it helps you do it so i'm proud to have been in something that makes people feel that way okay something hard Oh my gosh, it's such a silly career, Aubrey. I do just, you audition for things and you don't get them and you make a movie and it's so much work and you pour so much work into it and then nobody likes it or nobody watches it. So there's so many hard things, but I like to focus on the good. Also 13 going on 30 because lots of little girls seem to still like it. I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one more. How slash when did you know you wanted to be an actress? Oh, good question. I don't think, I grew up in West Virginia and there, I really did not know anything about making a movie or I didn't even think about that. But whenever I saw somebody on stage, I loved it. And anytime I got to be on stage, even now talking to you, I'm just so happy to talk to you and I feel like I could talk to you all day. Um, and I just always was the kid um, doing a class presentation, trying to get everyone's attention. <laughs> and um, so that just kept going and I was willing to work really hard. And then all of a sudden I was in college and I was working in the summer in theaters and one thing led to another and I was a professional actor. So it kind of, it didn't just happen. It's just what I always loved and I kept following it and I got lucky. You have to get lucky. Okay, I'm so happy we spoke. I hope your veins are easy to find. I hope everything goes well over there. And I just give you all my love. You're an angel, I can tell. So would you mind sharing why it matters to you so much to give back to children charities? I mean, you've been doing it for so many years. Is there a personal story that really has made you truly just give your life to this? Oh, gosh. It's... Kids, kids need us and they need, we're raised in a community and we're raised by community and any community that I can be a part of and get to know people and love them and feel love coming back, it just fills me up. So um, that is, uh, but, but kids don't get to vote. They don't get to have a say in so much of what happens in their lives, especially if they're sick my gosh, and if they're sick during a pandemic, <laughs> there's just one one injustice on top of another. So if there's a way to be a little bit of light for them, it sure is um, a lucky position to be in. Well, you've been a lot of light. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. Just seeing you over the years, just continuing to show up for them is really just 
incredible. So thank you so much, especially for what you've been doing for our children's hospitals. We're so grateful and I'm so excited for these kids. They're so excited to talk to you. So oh, I'm so glad. Jennifer, is there a miracle that stands out as maybe the biggest miracle that you've experienced in your life? Huh? I mean, any, any mom will say their kids are their biggest miracles because you kind of can't believe that it all really, you have them and it really works. And even if you've adopted or you've fostered that a child is, belongs to your heart is kind of a miracle. Um, I don't, I don't know. I think I've just had such a lucky life that I don't even know what I would focus on, but I would say there's a miracle in being born with a with a gift or a a bend toward happiness. Mm -hmm. I think that that is not something I take for granted, and I think my happiness is a miracle. And um, not that I've even been through anything hard. I think anyone's is. I think anyone who can look on the bright side of life, their happiness is a miracle. So Jace should be next. I think Jace is eight years old. Okay. And I think he likes hunting and um, sports. Jace, do you have any questions for Jennifer? Um, what's your favorite sport? Oh, I like to watch all sports once I'm really into watching them. If I just watch one game, I can take it or leave it. But if I've been watching three or four games in a row of one particular team, I'm, I'm all in. But I never played any sports. As a matter of fact, if you tried to throw me a ball, I would duck. <laughs> and if I tried to, tried to throw you a ball, I would break a window. So <laughs> I think you have to know your skill set, right? That is not, yeah. not mine. Can I tell you a funny story about the Super Bowl? I got to go to the Super Bowl one time and I got to wear, I went twice, but both times it was for work. And because it was for work, I got to wear a pass that said all access. And let me tell you something between you and me. I took that all access pass by myself and I walked down to the field and I showed it to the guard at the field. And they said, what are you doing down here? And I said, I have an all access pass. And they said, okay, and they let me on the field. And I will tell you, Jace, I stood there a middle, I mean, it's chaos. It's like a circus. The people are all huge because all the people who work in football seem to have like been former football players. So everyone is enormous. And these men come thundering down the field and their cameras as big as a house, as a car, <laughs> swooping everywhere. And somebody finally came to me and said, excuse me, get off the field. What do you think you're doing here? You don't belong here. You're going to get run over. And then we're going to have to deal with having run you over and get back in your seat. And I said, yes, sir. I'm so sorry, sir. I apologize, sir. I'm out of here. But that's <laughs> do you know who I was sitting behind? Tiger Woods. Do you ever watch golf? Uh, kind of. I was kind of like, what is happening here? What is going on? <laughs> I'm at the Super Bowl and I'm on the field and there's Tiger Woods. Hi. How are you? Are you Caitlin? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to meet you. I'm Jen. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, well, you're a gorgeous girl. How are things going? Well, you know, I know you're in a hospital. What can you say? It's a pandemic. The world is coming to an end. But you have a smile on your face. That's pretty great. Yeah. Do you have questions for me? Because if you don't, I can chat. I have questions for you. I can take care of it. Bring it. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> I'll do my best to not take all your time then with one question. Okay, what did you do in quarantine? What did I do in quarantine? Well, at first, I mean, I worked from home, like everyone, Zooming like everyone and met a lot of cool kids like this, like you. And they still, I mean, any single kid that I've met is like right here, just tucked in my heart. And I could just pull it out and think, oh, Molly, oh, Jace, oh, all these amazing kids. Anyway, I'm tucking you in. Um, but what did I do? First, 
it's like, what did I make my kids do? I tried to make them do silly videos with me and learn dances, and that lasted about three videos, and they said, you're not that funny, mom, no. Number two, I started doing restaurants for my kids where I would come up with the menu and type it out, and I'd be a funny waiter, and then they were like, mom, it's cute, but you're not that funny. I think I'm funny, I don't get it. And then what else do we do? I mean, just worked from home and I cooked and ate and danced around the house a lot. What about you? Um, stayed home, did nothing, and did schoolwork. Yep. So hard, right? Zoom school is <clears throat> big time. <clears throat> okay, next. What's your favorite food? Pizza. What about you? Um, hamburger. Oh, gosh, that's a good answer. I'm sticking with pizza. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Oh, my favorite movie? Am I allowed to say Wizard of Oz? That's my mom's favorite movie. <laughs> well, she and I must be kindred spirits because that is not what most people would say these days. Did you like middle school? Who likes middle school? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you just speak English to me? What, what, what words did you say? Did I like middle school? Well, in middle school, I was in the marching band, which I loved. I was a dancer. Um, and I was a geek. So yeah, I was pretty happy in middle school. How many new movies have you been in? I don't know. 35, 40, I don't know. 25, 20? I, I mean, it has to be a certain amount because I'm 48 and I've been working 25, 26 years. What was your favorite movie you're in? I mean, don't you think it has to be 13 going on 30? Have you ever seen that one? No. Will you watch it? Yeah. Will you watch it? Because you're, you're the exact right age and it's such a happy movie and it's like, it's just, just watch it. And all the people in the movie, girl who plays my best friend, who's also my frenemy, and the guy, I'm still friends with them. And the guy who I, Mark Ruffalo, I'm about to do a movie with now. Again, for the first time in a long time. So that's fun. Um, I want to see the Miracles in Heaven from Heaven. I want to watch that. Have you seen Miracles from Heaven? No, but I want to. Oh yeah. That's a really beautiful movie. Let's see if there's something else I was going to tell you to watch. Well, you know, yesterday, this movie that I made is coming out um, March 12th and you on Netflix. And it is super fun. And it, it's because of my daughter who just turned 12, um, who's also in sixth grade. And she loved the book yesterday when she was a kid. There's a children's book. I don't know if you've read it. And um, so I started giving my kids Yes Days and then we made a movie about Yes Days and it is just super happy and fun. So please take a look when you see it. Have you ever seen Alexander in the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day? No. You're, You're gonna, gonna have movies to watch. <laughs> You're gonna have a Jennifer Festival. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> Caitlin, thanks for chatting with me. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Smile. Yeah. I just want to say hi to, to, to whatever, who's there with you? Oh, Mom. You got one in there? My name's Jenny. Mom. Oh, Mom. Hi. Hi. Hello. Thank you for taking the time to talk with her. We've been waiting for this all day. So she's oh, my gosh. I'm so happy to. I hope I didn't keep oh. you waiting. No, no, no. So, so glad we could do this.
Oh yeah, me too. Thank you. Thanks for being available. Thank you guys. Yeah, I'm so glad it worked out. Thank you. And Nikki, thank you so much for all your help today. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate you guys thinking of children and taking the time out of your day to do this. The kids love it. So there is no so doubt this is a highlight for me. Thank Thanks, you. Kelly. Bye. Bye bye. bye.